G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. Today I'm out prospecting. Uh, I've come back, if you look behind me you'll see a big pile of rocks. I've been here before scratching around and I've noticed when I was here before when I dug a hole, dug down, I found some gravel, the old gravel um, from the old ancient river that used to wash down through here. And um, I'm thinking the gold from the Hit and Miss Creek, which is just below us, the gold from that was deposited in the Hit and Miss Creek, I believe it's come from up here, up on these hills. And um, thousands, millions of years ago, it's all washed down. Because all this rock behind me, it's all broken up. It was, probably it was a big mountain once upon a time, and it's just all broken up and shed and washed all down into the lower parts which is down there where the creek is yeah so anyway that's what i'm doing i'm just going to dig a few holes here do some test pans i brought some water with me i'll do some test pans and see if i can find traces of gold here because the old boys found something here because they've been digging here as well they've picked up all those rocks stacked them into a pile and they wouldn't have done that for no reason and just here I picked up this piece of quartz. Now, this is this is a quartz vein, part of the vein, because it's, on this side it's flat. On the other side, it's all over the place. It's all rough. So I can tell that this was a vein. This is this was contacted up against another rock, and I hit it with a hammer and broke it open, and it's all rusty. And I can see the sulphides just along the top here. Um, I can see sulphides in the in the quartz. So I'm going to take this home. This will be going home with me. I'll be crushing it up and panning it and see if I get anything out of this. I'll look around this area and see if I can find some more quartz. I'll get back to you guys. Okay. There's the hole I just dug. I've down into the gravel, but a lot of it is still this organic-y looking stuff. Anyway, I sieved out a panful. There's a pan of the dirt there. I'm going to pan that out and see if I can get any gold. Okay, I'll get back to you when I'm set up. Okay, yeah, this is, looks, looks really organic-y organic whatever you want, however you want to pronounce it and uh oh my god how am i going to do this i should have probably used half a pan shouldn't i guys should have done it in small small increments because of the amount of water i've got would have been better to do it in smaller smaller pans You can see it's all black um, organics. So probably to get to the gold, I probably need to go deeper. Looking at this material, this is just all um, decomposed vegetation. Looking at this, although there was a lot of um, a lot of rocks, gravelly rocks in, in amongst it. Some of the rocks were rounded, so they've been moved around by water. And some of them were, were just sharp rocks um, that have just come down, come down off the off the escarpment here. Anyway, I'll pan this out and see what happens. I don't think I'll do any good though. Somehow, I think I've got to go real deep, and uh, that'll be a job and a half to get down deeper. This is really messy. I've got another spot I want to go to and check out. It's um, it's bedrock, and it's a creek up here that runs down and feeds the Hit and Miss Creek. So I want to go down there, uh, uh, over there, and have a look. So I might, I might do that. I might give up here 
if I don't do any good. I'll only do a few pans here because this here is really organic -y material. It, uh, it doesn't look very good at all to me. And it's not even good to pan. I mean, look at all this stuff in the pan. It's just, yeah, it's too hard. I can see something shiny just there, but that might be just a bit of quartz or a bit of, um, yeah, fool's gold. I'll have a look under the jeweler's loop. Anyway, guys, I'll get back to you. So I might leave this and I might go down to this bedrock. That's some higher ground up there. And there's a creek or low-lying ground, I should say, like a gully that runs down here. Runs all the way down. Down to the bottom there down on that tree line and that that um, gully flows down into the hit and miss creek okay the uh, the water flows from up there from the higher ground comes down through here this we're in sort of like a, a gully here and um, yeah, as you can see by the erosion here, all the water runs down through here. And this is all um, like granite, granite bedrock all through here. So I've got the water running down through here. Down in between these two trees, races down through there. And then out the other side here. Down in through there. runs all the way out through there yeah so um i think this might be a good place to come this winter when, when i get some rain and um this creek's got some water flowing through it i'm going to come down here and start digging and panning in here because this little area here it flattens off it, it comes racing down from up top there comes racing down through here around this corner and it's as you can see it's really um narrow through those two trees it comes running around through there and then it comes out to this big wide area wide flat area so i'm thinking just in here would be a good spot to to dig and do some test panning so that's what where i'll be coming uh this winter i'll be coming down here you can see there's water down in there there's actually water There's some water just down in there. Uh, where are we? Just down in there, there's some water. Yeah. So, um, must be a bit of a, a soak there. Yeah, and uh, a small spring where the water's coming up from. Yeah, anyway, that's the plan, guys. So, uh, what are we going to do next? I'm just going to wander around here a bit with my metal detector and see if I can get any... Um, any rocks that sound off and I'll bring them home and crush them. Here's another part of that creek. Yeah, it just it just runs all the way up through here. It's only narrow. It runs all the way up through there, then it hits that wide area. Um, just below that granite, there you can see. It uh Yeah, just below that granite outcrop there, that's where that flat area is, and it widens out up there. So, yeah, that's where I'll be going next. Okay, I've just found some nice big pieces of quartz. It is white, uh, but this this piece here has got mineralisation. You can see all the brown standing. I was just going to get my metal detector and run over them, but this piece will be coming home with me because it's all it's got mineralisation in it, so there could be a chance it might have something in it. And then over here, there's some more quartz. Now, 
I know there is some quartz reefs nearby, so obviously this quartz is shed from it, but the reef is hidden, it's under the ground somewhere, so I might have a bit of a look around here, I'll grab me monster and uh, check out these ants guys, they're going absolutely ballistic, ballistic. yeah, I'll have a look around here with me uh, gold monster. G'day guys, I'm back from out the bush. Uh, I apologise, the video was supposed to be about me digging the gravels and that, but as it turned out, it was um, a bit of a drama. So um, what I did, I just went prospecting and um, got some rock to crush. Yeah, this rock here, uh, I'll just point, point, point this down a bit. This rock here has got uh, a lot of sulphide in it and um, it's a abbreviated quartz there's all quartz in there it's um the quartz has been broken and then it's been re-cemented by um looks like calcite or something and there's also some uh some of this material uh muscovite i think it is yeah so anyway so i'm going to crush this up and also that's another piece of quartz that I've picked up and it's um you can see the rusty color in there the mineral so I'm going to break that up and, and uh, crush that and sample it and then this piece here this big piece of quartz here uh, that's got sulfides and I can see under the jeweler's loop I can see the sulfides and you can see it's all gone rusty so yes and uh, this was that vein that I picked up it's part of part of a quartz vein so that's what I'm doing today I'll be back shortly guys okay this first first piece of rock that I'm going to crush I broke it open there's not much mineralization in it it's fairly clean as you can see it's fairly clean quartz um, there was a bit of mineralization on one end there's some mineralization on one end of the quartz so I've, I'm going to crush that okay okay pan number one and this is that quartz that most of it was clean quartz uh, there was just a little bit of mineralized quartz on the on the edges that I crushed so we'll just see see what's in this lot I think there might be some uh, some fine sulfides in it I'd be surprised if there was any gold in it but Sometimes it'll, it'll surprise you because you don't know where it's going to be. Anyway, we'll have a look. Yeah, as I said before guys, I was, um, I was planning on digging the gravels today, but when I got out there, and it, was, it was actually too much of a drama. So I just decided to go and... Uh, Take some samples of some quartz. I think I can see some sulfides in there. Okay. It looks like there might be a lot of sulfides in this. I can see all that dark colour. Yeah, there's definitely sulfides in there. sulfides is that shiny stuff but i'll have to look through the jewelers loop to have a look because there might be some fine gold in amongst it as well okay i'll get back to you guys okay 
This is pan number one of the uh, quartz. This is a quartz that had that the uh, metal detector sanded off on it. Um, I think it's magnetite that's in this quartz that was given off the signal. Yeah. Anyway, we'll pan it out and see what we get. That uh, the first pan I did, that other quartz, that clean sort of quartz I panned out, that had a lot of sulfides in it. I had a look under the microscope. A lot of sulfides and I saw about four specks of gold but micro specks not not worth worrying about um, if I if there was a lot of specks yeah it'd be worth it but four specks nah not worth worrying about that I'll just keep looking maybe one of these samples might be better might have some better gold Yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. Searching. Looking for it. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Let's see if we can show you a speck of gold. And that black black stuff in there, yeah, that's that magnetite. And it looks like sulfides. There's sulfides up in the back of the pan. I can see the sulfides. I'll just I'll have a look at those sulfides through the jeweler's loop and just see if I can I can see a piece of metal there. That's got a goldeny colour to it, but I don't know. Might be sulfides. I'll get back to this with another pan, guys. Okay guys, a speck of gold, just there in front of my finger, oh that's in the shade, it's no good, so we can turn this around here to the light, a bit, that's not going to do it is it? So. Yeah, just there, I don't think you can see it. Just there, in front of my finger, there's a tiny bit of gold. Yeah. Anyway, and there's some under the jeweler's loop. I can see some fine gold in here. So there's gold in this in this rock. And this is the rock that I took from the, where I first videoed, where the um, the big pile of rocks were that the old timers were stacked up. That's where I got this rock from. So it looks like I might have to go back there and do some more scouting. Yeah. Okay guys, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put some water in here and I'll suck up all this material and I'll show you as under the microscope. Okay, pan number one of sample number three and um, that second sample I just did, yeah there's gold in it, um, a lot of real fine specks. I counted about a dozen specks under the microscope. I took some pictures of some of the specs um, to show you guys, but yeah, just small stuff, small, fine stuff. But I suppose it tells me that there's gold in that in that quartz rock. Um, yeah, I suppose I could go up there and have another look around, just see if I can find anything that looks better. Some uh, some mineralised quartz, maybe. Just have a better look around. Uh, this rock I've got here, this is that abrasiated quartz. Um, I actually got this in the Hit and Miss Creek in the bedrock. In the creek, I went and broke a bit more out. I have sampled this before in one of my other videos. Um, yeah, I just, I was curious. I just went back there and took another sample. Okay, let's have a look. I can see the sulfides. You see the grey sulfides there. And I can't see any gold. Yeah. I'll have a look under my jeweler's loop. Okay guys, we'll get back to this. Okay, pan number three and the last pan 
and yes there is gold in it guys but it's yeah that microscopic gold again so yeah no maybe i might have to go back to some of those um the old mines and start having a look around them again yeah there's gold there's gold there in the hills but super fine stuff and unless i can find a a really rich uh, vein somewhere it's really hard to to get onto something at the moment but i suppose i'll just keep looking Just keep looking guys and just hopefully something comes up. See the sulphide, it's a dark colour. We want to see the yellow. I can see all the, the yellow in through here, and uh, some of that is gold, it's really fine, but like um, what they call flower gold, that's what it looks like all in here. Yeah, super fine. Okay guys, I'll see you at the wrap up. Well guys, same old, same old. Just um, fine microscopic gold, that's all I seem to be finding. Um, yeah, I suppose, I know it's there. It's just um, searching until I find something a bit better, something a bit richer. Maybe even if I can just get those spe uh, specks to be bigger in the rock yeah that, that'll be the go so um yeah i've got a few places out there i've still got to go and sample and and have a look at so there's no shortage of spots to go to uh, yeah that's for sure anyway um oh i've got some rocks here i want to show you i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do with this one hope there's enough light on that so you can see see all those little Crystals, quartz crystals, big clusters of them, yeah, I was thinking I might be able to break them out and then I can um, maybe mount them in, in those um, plastic prisms that I've got, yeah, so there's that, and there's this big piece of rock, it's all falling apart. There was this rock, this is um, opalite, and you can, um, like moss, I, I think that's moss, what they call moss, moss opalite, yeah, it only seems to be on one end. There's a bit going through there, a little bit going through that side, and then around there, it seems, seems to be mainly on this side. So I'll be able to cut that and um, make, maybe make some pendants out of it and i've got another big piece of um uh chrysoprase chrysoprase yeah that's a beautiful rock it's a nice green yeah cool so that's just just more rocks for me to play with It's a bit warm here today too guys. It's supposed to be cooling down but uh, gee today it's got a bit warm. Anyway guys that's uh, that's all I had to show you and report. Um, sorry I didn't get to that to do that gravel. I was really gonna chase that ancient gravel. Um, maybe next time. Yeah I've, I've got to be in the right mood for digging. Yeah my shoulders and that are a little bit sore and stiff. Um, 
there, but I'm thinking up there where I was up on that higher ground, I'm thinking that's where the gold might have come from, and it's, it's all shed down into that creek down below. But um, that other creek that I was looking at there today, I'll have to get back there when there's water flowing in it and do some test pans in there because um, all, the, all the water and all the dirt and everything that's washing down through there um, and I'm pretty sure that bedrock's not very deep there so I might better dig, when it's all wet I'll better dig down a lot easier, dig down to the bedrock and uh, do some panning there and you never know I might, I, I might do alright because that actually washes down into the hit and miss creek. Yeah, anyway guys, cheers. Ah, that's nice, yeah. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting my channel. Be good, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.